thank you for the introduction. I just want to present um, our work uh, with my colleague John Duncan there at the back uh, on our uh, open source geospatial mapping in Pacific Island countries. So just a bit of background, Pacific Island countries are particularly vulnerable to climate change and they rely on their landscapes uh, for ecosystem services, their livelihoods um, and economic activity. And so for stakeholders and landscape managers to engage in climate smart, sustainable development and disaster response and recovery, they need good spatially explicit information at a community scale that's timely. So our objective was to build a geospatial capture and analysis uh, system that was open source and long term sustainable for these countries and to build capacity with the Pacific Island countries we're working with. So we used an ICT4 development approach to provide us with a structure and rigour um, to, to work with our collaborators in building a geospatial system. The case study that I'm just going to talk about in Tonga, um, we worked with the Ministry of Agri Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries. Uh, and we identified a need to transition from paper-based uh, crop surveys in Tonga to having spatial data infrastructure that's coordinated with large field teams collecting data, the ability to map farm systems offline, uh, and then to be able to data sync and store those, that data uh, in a central location, and of course to do geospatial data analysis and reporting. We focused first on the second largest island, Vavau, in the top right hand there, and then uh, we moved to the largest island, Tongatapu, as we evolved our development. So this diagram represents the iterative nature of our development. So we started very simply with QField and QGIS, um, sort of off the shelf, if you like, uh, and we did some very small surveys. So uh, we started with um, some sim simple kitchen garden surveys, for examples. And then we developed our own uh, dashboard in Shiny um, to do a vanilla survey. We then moved to a more sophisticated uh, client server architecture using for a ploughing survey. And eventually we scaled up to a whole, um, whole of island crop survey on the island of Aval. And we introduced QField Cloud um, to, to manage and centralise our data with large teams of people collecting data on mobile devices. And finally, we um, uh, helped the ministry undertake a complete country cropping survey using QField uh, and QField Cloud. So that was a great achievement to go from uh, paper-based surveys for the country to being completely digital and spatial using open source software. And these are just some examples of the uh, map outputs from the dashboard that we developed. Uh, on the left, we have a map that shows um, tax allotments or areas of land that are underutilised and this allows the Ministry to dedicate resources to improve farming and food security and on the right this map shows the density of kava being planted in different plots. So thank you for your attention and uh, if you're interested in more detail please see our paper. Thank you. Thank you very much.